So uh, I, I saw a bit of the race. What else has been going on? Who wants to try and summarize some things that have gone on? Also, I just want to say, Drew, that after after seeing some of the spells that you've come up with, I feel like I could have done better with the spells. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 th- don't, don't look at, don't look at me. Look at Nick. Most of these were his ingenious plans. Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to blame me for Josh having like not great spells. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying that these spells are like ninety. I'd say like 95% Nick Roth originals. I think I, I came up with the names and gave like one or two of them general direction, but that was about it. Ah. Everything else was like, hey, Nick, here's a list of spell names. And then Nick came back to me and said, here, Drew. <laughs> Go nuts. Oh, I should message. Okay. And about to get better because we're level five now, which means I can cast level three Liz Wiz spells. Ooh. And if we can get all the way, once if we can get all the way to, uh, I think like what level eight, level nine, whenever level four spells come into play, usually. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, this is the group that we're playing t- with till one in the morning, right? Uh, I'm going till eleven twenty, but yes. Ah. A- and we also pick up Ilea and drop Eli. Gotcha. But otherwise, yeah, pretty close. Fair enough. Uh, we would just wait on Ryan. I think we're ready because nope. Ryan I'm is here. There he is. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, isn't he right next to you? I mean, not well, physically. Well, you, yeah, you, you know what I mean. Hey, you don't know that. That's fair. Yeah. Drew does not have an image. I can't yeah. tell if the backgrounds line up. Yeah. It... Okay. Um. So. Uh, you start flying over to, um the uh, coordinates given to you by the All-Father. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, he did give us coordinates? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I thought he was just, like, vaguely threatening us. Oh, no, no, he gave you... He's like, here's another planet. Go deal with that. Good, okay. So that it was the first alternative that I thought he was saying. Okay, yeah. cool. Great. Accepted. Okay. What a helpful guy. Yeah. Um... I don't actually have two things here. Okay, so you're flying on your way to that planet um, when suddenly a whole bunch of alarms go off. Alarms that I don't have a sound effect for. So imagine (laughs) them in your head. They go kind of like... That type of thing. Thank thank you for the onomatopoeia, Nick. We really appreciate it. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Mike. Good fully work. (laughs) <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you got a donation? Uh, someone asked a question, and I'm answering it. Well, this will be public soon. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, then I guess that you would get a call from the captain slash commander who may or may not be the same person that will never really get resolved. (laughs) Agents, the ship is currently under attack by enemy vessels. I need you to pick up fighters and go fight them. Like, physically carry fighters? No. I don't know if I'm that like, strong, Chief. The, the, the fighter ships, they're, they're in the dock bay. Got it. Cool, I go pick up Ray and hold him in my arms. All right, we're on our way. <laughs> Is held. <laughs> <laughs> um, my scaly, muscular lizard arms. So notably... While the USS Mendacious was a science vessel and was never intended for open combat, it does have a docking bay full of fighters. Not originally intended as those, they're mostly just pods, but when the meddling came through, it's like, oh, these are just these are just our wings. Why why are there just our wings here? <laughs> of course, of course. Why wouldn't why wouldn't we have them? Yeah. 
oh, uh, so are they going to pick me up here or am I just here now? You've already been on the ship this whole time. Ah, gotcha. So I guess this is the time when you happen to be standing next to them and you're like, oh, I guess I'm part of this group. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, you're, you're running to the dock and um, so is a clown. Woo. You're just, okay. You were just hear the squeaking of my shoes above the, the noise of the alarms. And you're just like, oh, there's there's a clown here now. Oh, we've made a mistake. There's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. As we run down and we just hear the alarms and it's just like, oh, no, wait. It's the clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just been honking my nose this entire time. Yeah, there's no threat. It's just alarms for the clown. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Well, the clown is alarming. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, right, I guess no let's toss you. So you, you all hop in. All right, so pretty much same rules as your uh, picking a, uh, a, uh, a, a car for the Hyperloop. You get an R-Wing. No. Okay. How do you want to edit it? And now you can either be flying your own ship which will be, you can move and you can shoot and it'll be, like, not as strong. Or you could get one of the bigger ships that there is a pilot and there is a gunner. And then you'd have to pair up. Brian, are we doing this? Uh, I mean, I think the obvious answer is, hell yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Uh, what's all our right. big gunship look like? Hmm. All right, while you're thinking, uh, Josh, so the way this works is you have a, pretty much a, a base fighter, and then you can describe how it looks however you want, and then in addition to that, it also has one perk, which can be pretty much whatever you want, but it's like one extra thing that is not standard to a fighter. Oh, okay. The set of Kaipa Jet. Jesus. Uh, you mean well, the Blue Eyes yeah. Flight Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> I, I suppose mine would probably be like the standard R-Wing, except it's like about five times smaller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Covered in polka card. dots. And it shoots pies instead of bombs. I love this. Fantastic. Car wing, huh? I adore this. I call it the clown wing. Alright, I, I think I'll like raise your AC because you're harder to hit because you're tiny. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Um... So yeah, whatever your written AC is, pretend it's too higher. Nice. Uh, okay, so it's thirteen now. <laughs> while you're in the while you're in the ship. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's thirteen. Now. Okay, uh, and anything that modifies that also modifies like from thirteen. God, I forgot that you have an AC of eleven. Yeah. He has an AC of eleven. He has a dex of minus minus one. Okay. He's a clown. I don't know what you. <laughs> <laughs> That's we, we were not made to be fighters. You can't keep down the clown. <laughs> How? How? Where did How that come what? from? What? What? The do to do to do? Did you not hear that? I did not hear that. No. Oh, oh that's we got a raid. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there, Dungeon Smith Cry. I'm like. Who played a sound effect? <laughs> I'm so not used to that. <laughs> welcome to the stream. All right, cool. Well, welcome the dungeon. So, um, this is a extra life stream, which means we are doing a uh, pretty much a, a D and D marathon for charity. Thank you for following Dungeons May Cry. Thank you for following Peach Jellies. Um, <laughs> this is awesome. Um, Train of thought. Uh, pretty much, we started at 9 a.m. Eastern today, and we're gonna go until one in the morning, and then start back up tomorrow. Um, we are trying to raise money for Extra Life, which is a charity that works with the Children's uh, Hospital Miracle Network, um, which like helps provide supplies for specific children's hospitals. Um, and the way we're doing that is by having just a batshit crazy. Um, Dungeons and Dragons game this year is in space and we're just about to go to a um, like space dogfight pretty much like the, the jet fights um, so yeah you, you joined at a neat time 
let's get this on the road. Welcome. Welcome um, oh, and as uh, if you choose to donate, you can, and that will uh, pretty much edit things, uh, introducing an element of chaos to the, uh, the, the stream itself. So pretty much there's a wild magic table with 10,000 entries on it, and then also each player has their own donor objectives um, that can uh, shake things up in their own way. Yeah. All right, Eli, what is your ship going to be? Oh, I'm okay with the regular R-Wing. Okay. And I'm going to make... Mine, mine is the R-Wing, but weirdly low poly. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is the yours is the R wing from the original Star Fox. Yeah, if you can find the Star I've Fox two those. or the original Star oh, Fox R wing. <laughs> Thanks for the host, Peach Jellies. Okay, so Bonesy has the tiny one. Um, then Ray. Uh, Ray has the normal one, and I'm gonna put it under agent's name, but it's just the the lizard team has yeah, the big yeah. one. All right, secret. Oh, I'm, okay. thinking, I'm, I'm thinking a big. I'm thinking the blue eyes flight dragon, like a big, like a big, R wing that looks like, like a uh, that looks like a big. Oh, that looks like a big dragon. Uh, yeah. Maybe green. Maybe green dragon. That seems appropriate. Uh, hold on. I think yeah. I got. What's our uh, weapon? What's our specialty? Um. So all of these are equipped with what for weapons? Um. Generally, they just have like lasers. They shoot. Okay. okay. Um, um, but uh, also, yeah. you have the ability to pretty much translate whatever normal attacks you have as an like an attack. Right. Since you have the one that is uh, the the two personer, you also just have a, for lack of a better term, big fuck off cannon. Excellent. <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask for anyway. Yeah. Negroth. Yeah. I got you an image for my ship. Okay. Uh, I guess Do you want Facebook? me? I'll put I'll put in chat too. Yeah, sure. I'll throw it in chat. Gear. All right. So people who just joined us were gearing up. There was an alert, and the uh, the USS Mendacious uh, is under attack. So we are running to the uh, <laughs> we are running to the flight bay uh, or the dock to the docking bay, and we are grabbing whatever ships we can. We're going out there uh, to to engage in what will no doubtedly be uh, a space dogfight. Um, which should be pretty rad. Very low poly R wing. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't okay. see shit, Captain. There's no actual. There's no actual. It's got no screens and size. In there. <laughs> beautiful. I love that. Okay, there you go. All right, so everybody, roll initiative. Bow. Okay, uh, how does initiative work for Ryan and I? Let's just use... Um, who, who's flying it? Um, I think Actually, I would it doesn't it, it doesn't matter. You each roll initiative. Oh, cool. Okay. And then you just take those as you go. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just right. like calling. use the race music today. Let's do that. I should be a captain. Oh, wow. I, I am... Bonesy is not a, is not a fast clown. Um. All right, hold on. Is there a way I can change my profile pic to the? Can't do that. To my character. Well, character for character? for now, it's just the it's the ship because that's who you oh. are. Like, oh no, I meant like down here where, oh, where everybody is. Yes, but you would have had to do that before coming on stream. Oh well, no big deal. Um, yeah. can you put a token on me so I can put I my you. image? There we go. And I should be in there. Cool. All right, and agent rolled a fourteen. Yep. So let's do that. Let's open that. Okay, and I'll roll for the baddies. They got a five. So they're so they're just as fast as I am. What's your dex? Uh, Oh, it's a minus one? Okay, they're technically slightly faster than you. Ah. That's just how they do tiebreakers. All yeah, right. Fair. Ray, let's yeah. get the show on the road. 
Where are the enemies? Like, oh, there they are. <laughs> um, questions one and two are actually. Can I just use all my fighter feats on the ship? Yep, pretty much. You and can, you can just does translate. Does my whatever. range doubling work on the ship? Yes, you can pretty much hit anything anywhere on the screen. I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hit uh, the closest target. I'm going to put you in the other corner just so I don't have to put you near uh, the, the person who's not supposed to be here. Actually, okay. you know what? Here, let's let's put him in the upper left corner then because that, I mean, he's hidden behind well, my profile picture. I have picture. quadruple range right now. Yes. Um, because that was one of your donation gimmicks. Yes. I'm going to attack <laughs> the uh, TIE fighter here, the closest one, I guess, to, to the party. Okay. Uh, what do I roll? Just anything? Sorry, I just did a weird thing. Um, what are you asking again? What, what do I, roll? What's my attack roll like? I mean, you're making an attack with one of your weapons. It's pretty much exactly oh, okay. the same. Okay. Just well, then through fine. the ship. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Fighting Spirit, and then I'm going to Axe and Surge out of the gate. Okay. So, attack one um, with advantage. So, R1D 20 plus A. You need to roll it again, right? If you're doing advantage. Oh, yeah. I'll just roll, the, I'll just roll the that again. So, that's two. Okay, uh, cool. Second attack, one, two. Third attack, one, two. And everything does lightning damage? It's all lightning damage now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then last attack. Okay. So, hit uh, 19. So all 15. three end up hitting, so you do a total That's of 65 four. damage. That's four attacks. Four? It should be four attacks. Jesus, okay. Uh, I so, guess I missed one somewhere in the middle. 15, or okay. sorry, 19, 45, 15. Uh, oh, okay, the one in the middle missed. That's why I missed it. 23. Yeah, the 15 misses, but you, you, you still do a total of 65 damage. Oh, okay. Wait, which one is he aiming for? Uh, this the one here. One, and if it dies, the next one. Wait, I'm using my weapon damage? Um, sure. Uh, the ships don't have... Okay, fine. I mean, like, th there are ways to soup things up, but you're pretty much just using your baseline stuff as a baseline. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, to Crix, you are flying, so what would you like to do? All right, so the um, so agent is in a swiveling turret. Yep, it's sort of like yeah. under your cockpit that it can move around. Okay. Right, in any um, direction. Okay, so he's firing lasers and I'm firing the cannon, or is he doing both? Well, one of you is piloting. The other you're one you're you're piloting, the and he's got the big cannon. Uh, you yeah. can also do like tracer rounds. But they don't really do damage. You can just give advantage if you hit somebody with them. Okay. Um, how fast can this ship go? Uh, your move speed scaled. So, like, this is obviously much bigger than a square is five feet. Okay. But, like, you right. still move six squares. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to kind of do is, like, loop, come from here and then loop to go to here. But I can't move the... Uh... You can't move it because I put the wrong person on it. Okay, smart. Let me let me, let me me switch that out for you. Boop. Okay, so okay. I kind of move to, like, up here and then fire a trace around at the one that... Uh, Sorry, Ray... one sec. I need to Ray. put... Lizard Wizard on the initiative again. No, it's cool. What did you roll for your initiative? 14. 14? Okay, so I guess you're uh, next. I was at 17. Okay, so it knocked you down. There you are. Okay. Uh, and then I guess I'll just fire a tracer round at it. Okay, cool. So, that... so yeah, well, roll like a ranged attack. And sorry, which one are you shooting at? Uh... Shooting a tracer at that one. Okay, the, one that, the, the damage one. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'll just do that one. Okay, uh, you actually miss it. 
Okay. All right. So then that is my turn, pretty much. All right. Cool. Um, Agent, you're up. All right. Cool. Uh, so I got the, I got control of this big gun, right? Yep. All right. Awesome. Uh, can I channel a spell through it? Yes, you can modify it to do something different if you want. Like it's oh. it, it it has its big chunk that you can just shoot with, or you could like put a spell in and it'll do something else. Oh, interesting, interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, let's. I didn't, I didn't come here to not fire this big gun, so let's find out what it does. I'm gonna take a big. I'm gonna take a pot shot at this guy right here. I'm okay. assuming that's in range. Yep. Forty-five. All right. So how does this work? Uh, you are uh, going to roll a uh, ranged attack. So I guess it would be a spell attack for you. Spell attack. Okay. Um, do I use? So I'll use my spell mod. Sure. Okay. Right, I can use Dex too. That's that's whatever. That's whatever works. Which one's higher for you? Dexterity. Then use Dex. Cool. All right. Uh, am I proficient with the cannon? Let's say yes. Sure. Eighteen. Yeah, this isn't exactly the most crunchy segment. Okay, so that's enough. You hit. Um, and so that first, that does uh, 5d8 damage. So you can roll 5d8. And 5D8? then, yeah. Hmm. And then the other two ships behind it, uh, it it's pretty much shoots this beam, and those two need to make evasive maneuvers or also get hit. Gotcha. Alright, uh, so that's 23 damage of plasma? Yeah, probably just force. Okay, uh, the, the Interceptor gets out of the way. The big pirate ship uh, does get hit. So it's going to take half of that. Great. And I just... And you... And you... Uh, you crooks, you just hear... Woohoo! We got him! <laughs> and I say, don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> hey, that's my line! <laughs> All right. Um... So the TIE Fighters are going to come out first and move over here. And this is going to come here. Um, so that's going to be two at Bonesy and one at uh, the Lizard Ship, which shares your combined health. So what is oh. what what is your health, uh, Agent? Uh, should be 43 now. Okay. And what's yours, Decrix? I'm at 54. Okay, so that's 97 total? Yes. Yes. Cool. Nice. Cool. Okay. Um, so, Bonesy, this one comes at you first. All right. Oh, dear. 20 and oh, 22. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> we smoked <laughs> on clouded around. <laughs> this is awful, and I hate everything. <laughs> what have you done? Um, so you're gonna take 14 damage. Jesus Christ! I haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> no. Um, and then the interceptor is gonna come after uh, the uh, lizard ship. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah. So it's um, it actually uh, launches a harpoon at you. Of course, it's no. Some bad news. That's my <laughs> thing. That's a crit. Oh, right. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, mm, not much we can do about that. Okay, um, so right now you're only going to take two damage. Uh, uh, but you, you do... Dip. Shouldn't it be 4d6? Why? Because it's correct. Oh, you're right. <laughs> six, six damage. <laughs> All right. Um, Ow. But you, you, you do get a, uh, an alarm that's like, hey... Your hull just got breached. That's not good. <laughs> um, and the the pirate ship is gonna go down here a bit, and seems to be charging something up. That's All right, good. Bonesy, you're up. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh. All right. Uh, now, the now because I don't want to die the very next turn, uh, Bonesy is going to raise the shields. It's just a matter of whether or not the shield of faith or the regular shield would be better here. Okay. I think those are both it responses that you can do, like, at instant speed. Am oh. I right on that, Drew? What? Uh, sorry? Shield and shield of faith. Those are both, like, instants, right? 
Uh, so Shield of Faith is a bonus action uh, that you do on your turn. Shield is a reaction that you can do right now, and uh, anytime you get you, somebody attacks you. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Well, see that? See, I should have read that. Otherwise, I could have, you know. That's okay. You'll know it for next time. You, you, next you time. actually, it wouldn't have made a difference. They rolled really high. Yeah, they did. All right. <laughs> uh, so. Because, so you said Shield of Faith is a bonus action. So yeah, that's correct. Stuff. And you can cast right. on anyone, including yourself. All right, Five so what I am going to do... I'm going to do something stupid. Oh, so, no. I love that. <laughs> so I'm going to... I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try and get close to one of the TIE Fighters and hit them with Create Water. Oh, Spray water in their face. Hopefully freeze it and blind them. Interesting. Okay. It is in space. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's scaled up, Nick. So a five foot cube is like a lot of water. Yeah, no, that, that's a lot of water. Okay. Yeah, so it might just freeze them completely. I mean, if not, it'll just be debris to slam into their ship. Um, True. So yeah, click create water for me real quick, just so I can see the actual text of it. Sure thing. It's Cool. Okay, are you are, are you picking just like a single chunk, or are you gonna make it rain in a thirty foot cube, which would be uh, like a three thousand foot cube? Yeah, I think a scatter shot effect would probably be the best to put them up against multiple opponents. Here. Okay, so you're trying to get uh, both of these. Trying to guys get both. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so they're gonna have to make a dex save to try and avoid the the, the big portion of this. Uh, yeah. One of them makes it, the other one does not. Um, and so, the, they still do take, like, little nicks and dents. So I guess, how about roll, uh, let's say 3d6. Alrighty. Okay, so the one that uh, failed its roll takes 11, and the one that made its roll takes 6. Gotcha. But yeah, it, it, they, you also see them like sort of pull off that they're branching away, um, because like there is now a cloud between you and them that is like hard to navigate. <laughs> There's the clown. So let's just toss a cloud on there. Okay, cool. Um. All right, do you want to move, or is that the end of your turn? Well, I wanted to uh, raise, raise, the sh raise the shield of faith. Okay, so that has has been done. Got here, AC goes up by two. You? Okay. Um, so Ray. It's now at... Uh, Which is the fifth. lowest HP TIE fighter? It's now at 50. Uh, the, one, we'll the, most the, the one directly in front of the, uh, uh, the lizard ship. So this guy? Yeah. I shoot it. Okay. Uh, that's not. Okay. Bam. Cool. You can't change your AC on the fly, Josh. You just need to remember. Oh, okay. No problem. I'll just write it yeah. down somewhere. Okay. Uh, that's a hit. I shoot it again. Uh, actually, the first one just makes it explode. Oh. <laughs> I shoot the one in the cloud again for eight and miss. Okay. You do miss. Got it. I fly as far away as I can. Um, you get the approaching exit of uh, combat zone message, and it does the like mandatory barrel roll thing where it turns you around to face back in. What's the point of having infinite range? <laughs> <laughs> you were, well, you, what you didn't know was that we entered all range mode before the start of this battle. <laughs> all right. Um, but sure, yeah, you're, you're backed pretty far away at this point. I don't want to get hit by the laser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, crap, yeah, I'm, I'm probably in range of that. To Crix, you're up. Brian, I think you're muted. I yeah, thought he just wasn't I'm saying just, anything. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking of what the uh, the best course of action is. I mean, so we're, we're harpooned. Um... Well, but Bonesy's in trouble. 
Um, so I'm just gonna let us be harpooned for now. And I think I'm gonna, like, come here and, like, swing around here so I can get, uh, Agent a shot on either of these starfighters. Gotcha. Yeah, this, this might actually work. I think I have a tactic to, I think I have a spell that'll keep, uh, not only, uh, our enemies off of us from climbing onto the ship, from getting onto our ship, but also might scare away those TIE fighters. Okay. Um, and since I can't, like, shoot or anything, I'm just gonna change the form of my suit to be a void suit in case <laughs> of catastrophic decompression or anything like that. In case you get voided. Yep. <laughs> and I guess that ends my turn. Alright, cool, cool. Um, Agent, you're up. Alright. Hey, Nick, get, re get ready with those bubbles. Um, oh, no. uh, so... I am going to channel a spell, uh, a lizard spell, through the cannon. Uh, okay. And, or I guess it's through the ship, because really, it's more of an aura. In fact, you might call it a beacon. A beacon of nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, our ship is a giant flying dragon in space. So, it, um, so it's going to go ahead and... Uh, Ryan, what disgusting thing does our, uh, does our ship do? Something nasty. Uh, maybe it licks its own eyeballs and like uh, looks out at the giant ship and freaks it out. What do you What do you think? It ejects ink oh, from like better. every orifice, like under the armpits, <laughs> out of everywhere. Just boom, ink everywhere. Just places and you don't want to see things being la, ejected from. La, la, la live egg birth from the mouth. So Nick, <laughs> this is going to create a what is normally a twenty foot aura, but. I have six tiers in lizardry, <laughs> uh, so that is a fifty-foot aura, uh, of which I will choose uh, all of the enemies within range uh, for the duration. Whenever they enter this uh, the zone, the aura, or start their turn inside of it, they make a Wisdom save or be sickened until the end of their turn. Uh, and that would include the pilots. A second creature has disadvantage on attacks and saves. And since I'm at L Lizardry Tier 6, which is above 4, the sickened creatures also have to use their movement to try to exit the aura. <laughs> wow, I forgot that we needed to nerf that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So it is. <laughs> um, so how big is your aura? 50 feet. You're 20 feet? Or 50? 50. 50? Okay. Yeah, cause it's, 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 it's 20 plus... Uh, one plus five feet for each point of lizardry. Okay, and then that's uh, everybody. For, for each for each tier of lizardry. Okay, cool. Um, I'll roll saves. What's the DC? Eleven. Uh, it should be uh, for my intelligence, two. so it'll be oh. uh, eight plus profi uh, So it'll be what is it? Eight plus, plus proficiency plus uh, plus int? your int stat. Yeah. Yeah. Right so it should spell. be fourteen now. Fourteen. Okay. Cool. Yeah, um, eight, 8 plus 3 plus 3. Cool. TIE Fighter 1 makes it. TIE Fighter 2 makes it. TIE Interceptor <laughs> makes it. Pirate ship makes it. These these fucking ships are rolling yeah. like. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. The, I, I these, think these the curse just... of shit dice are finally going to bite you. These people are just cool or phobic. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> these holy shit these guys are just insane <laughs> <laughs> I mean they were sent specifically to take out the protagonists these are basically the lancers yeah hey, it's okay it's a persistent aura yeah okay the duration of the enters or starts his turn inside the aura okay so technically that should have happened at the start of their turn but that happens that's now anyway so yeah. okay um so they'll have to do it again on their next turn but they are all, so um, so this one sweeps off in this direction to try to get off of the cloud. This one sweeps off in this direction to try to get out of the cloud. Um, and then I guess we'd probably go past. So uh, the first thing that's gonna happen is the interceptor is going to uh, channel electricity through that cable. Um, so I need um, the pilot to make a con save. Oh, wait. All right. Let's see this con save right here. You're fine. 
Wow. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, so you take one lightning damage. <laughs> and uh, they clearly have not disabled your ship, so uh, they're just going to um, take a laser shot at you. So They do have advantage because you're atta they're attached to you. But they miss both. They miss anyway. Um, I'm an expert pilot. Yeah. All right. One of the Tie Fighters is going to go after Bonesy, no. and is going to miss because of his Shield of Faith. Nice. Um, then the other Tie Fighter is going to go after the Lizard Ship, but to Crix dodges out of the way. Um, and even while chained down, barreling out of the way. Yeah. Um, and then the uh, big pirate ship. That, like, jaw thing at the front unhinges and a cannon pops out. That's not good. And then oh, it fires boy. just a literal, actual cannonball at you. <laughs> just a gigantic cannonball. This is not what I expected. Yeah, no, um, me either. And, uh, to Crix, I need you to make a dex save at disadvantage. Okay. So let's change that to disadvantage. And let's see. You That's make good. it. Okay, cool. So you only get uh, clipped by this giant cannonball. So you're only going to take... Um, half oh. that. So 15 14? damage. Uh, 14, right. Round the other way. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Alright, I think I failed the con save. Unless, do I... Who? How do we do... Concentration for this. I guess uh, I do, right? I'm going to say that you have advantage on concentration because you're not being attacked directly. Try again? Okay, that's above a 10. Um, but it has... Oh, right, you took half damage. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, if you had taken full damage, then half of that would have been more right. than that. But, like, you didn't, so you're good. Mm -hmm. Got halved twice. Yep. All right. Uh, Bonesy, you're up. All right. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'll just. Well, hmm. well, where's the cannonball right now? Did it just fly off into space? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could try and go after it if you want. Um, wait, hold on. I think you might have missed a donation at some point. We did. Uh, Ryan, you got a donation. Did you resolve that? Um. You got it from down the street. I I just see that now. Up, well, let's see. Let's see what that. And Drew, you got oh. one too, but I'm not entirely I... sure when that was. Uh, hang on. I just got that notification too. I will tell let's you. Hey. So, uh, thank you, Dan, for that. Uh. Oh, it's for my parents. Oh, nice. That's nice. Okay. Uh, that's. Okay, so that's a, it's a five. So I get the, uh, you know, whatever that random magic effect. And then uh, it's five times for the I didn't mean for that to happen. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> oh, right. That was one of your things, wasn't it? Yeah, so I got I to, gotta, like, on my turn, I'll see um, what what things are there. Nice. Okay. One second. Let me check something. Alright, let's yeah, I'll see. I'll just start that searching. Okay. Um, train of thought. So, while those are resolving, um, all right, um, Bonesy, you're out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and charm and charm this this Tie Fighter here. The one that's closest to you. Yeah, the I'm gonna use uh, charm person, or in this case, charm Tie Fighter. You're you're targeting the pilot. That's okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Press that, that button. I I open a channel to the to the pilot of the Tie Fighter, and I'm like, Hey, yeah. you want to see? You want you want to see something big? And I just start juggling inside the Tie Fighter, inside my my ship. And, and I'm just kind of sweating and seeing how he'll react. I'm just picturing 
Hey, you want to see something neat? Smash cut to space with a scream. <laughs> Just like exterior shot. Okay, so it does so at advantage if your companions are fighting it. So it's going to take a crack at it. It kicks out of it. It is... It was... It It didn't know what it wanted today, but a clown on its monitor was not it! <laughs> These fucking space fighters are godlike. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying. Oh, darn. Alright, Ray, you're up. Um, uh, what do I target? <laughs> Who's, like, vaguely injured? Uh, Bonesy's kind of injured. No, as... no, not on my. I can't. I can't. Oh, not on your team. Okay. Both of the Tie Fighters are like, oh, so lightly injured. The interceptor has not been touched. Uh, the pirate ship is. I'll, I'll hit. The, I'll hit the lowest uh, Tie Fighter because he is uh, uncomfortably close. Okay. Uh... Just if I am, I am gonna say that you're like another like 200 feet away. So let's okay. just put that on there. This is between my range right now for the weapon I'm clicking is 800, and I can go to 1200. Yeah. And I, scale... I'm gonna say you're hitting the edge of the... You're, you're hitting the, the edge of the, the map the, at 200. The actual map. Anyway. Yeah. Attack 1, very bad. Attack 2, very good. That'll hit. Alright. You do a good chunk of damage to it. Um, I'm gonna move... Mm, wait, Bonesy's at 19 HP. Yes. Yep. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna fly towards Bonesy. Okay, what's I'm your like, move speed? Well, keep 35. in mind, I also have uh, okay, cure, so cure wounds. Now, now you're exactly. only 130 feet away from the edge of, this, of the map. Okay. Oh, is that how we're doing it? Got yeah. It. Cool. Um, to Crix, you're up. Alright, uh, so... Okay, so a few things happen on this turn. Um, so basically because, you know, uh, I got the... So I need to roll the 1d10,000 because I got more than three from Dan's... Yes, and so does thing. Drew. Okay, so you pick a uh, caster and a target. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so caster is going to be the tie interceptor. Target is big ship. Hmm, that's a good one. Uh, so... 8024. Okay, 8024. Remind me which one's which on this? Uh, the uh, caster, and then the big ship is the target. So, tie interceptor to uh, heartless big ship. Okay. Um, on an back on the ship, um, like the, 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 the mendacious that you're flying out of, yep. one of your, uh, Compatriots that had been turned into an elemental just turns back into a dude. I was like, oh hey! <laughs> Alright. You heard it here first, folks. We saved one guy. <laughs> That's one more than we had before. Alright, and then I have to resolve mine? Yes. So pick a target and a uh alright, I choose I choose big ship to itself, um, and it's okay. gonna be a three hundred Seven. Ooh, that's low. That is a low We're going to end up with, like, invincible ships. Or yeah, just so you know, anytime you donate more than $3 to any of the players... Well, three or more. Yeah, or three, three dollars or more to any of the players, on top of the player benefits, you also get... A, there's also a free random magic surge roll that that player names the target and the spell. We roll on a D10,000 table and stuff happens. This yeah. will probably never matter. But apparently... The uh, the pilot of that ship appears unspeakably beautiful while they sleep. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that sure. That was the effect. <laughs> Go ahead, Ryan. <laughs> now the world knows. Wait, I can put them to sleep. We'll find out. <laughs> You're muted, Ryan. Okay, so as part of Dan's donation, he activated basically, whoops, that's not supposed to happen with my stuff five times. Um, 
So first of all, uh, one of my X form features activates, which was uh, the soup dispenser <laughs> activates, <laughs> and then uh, also uh, using up my bonus action this turn, my suit transforms into a fake rock that you might see in a kindergarten play. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, um, so you are inside this fake rock, and that is rapidly filling with soup. <laughs> yep. I mean, so I can I can turn off the soup dispenser whenever I want. I'm fine okay. with it. I'm fine with it for now, but I can't You're... turn back into anything else until another turn because it takes a bonus action to transform. Right. You're just slowly being drowned by soup, and you're like, "This is fine." <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, and actually, uh, another another uh, one of my X form features d uh, turns on. Uh, the self repackaging parachute also erupts in things. So you just there's a fake rock covered in a parachute, filling oh. with soup. So uh, Drew, since you are behind and below him, um, I need Agent to make a quick deck save. Sure. All right, that's uh, five plus three. Fifteen. Okay, cool. You are able to extricate yourself from this suddenly appearing parachute before you get fi before you actually need to use the controls. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> you also avoid the soup as it's suddenly pouring over your head. No, no, I just slurp it up. Well, oh. the soup is the soup is still currently contained. If it yeah. changes from being a rock, who knows where it goes? But like <laughs> currently. And that's a tail okay. for the next turn. Okay, so what um, are you doing with your actual action and move? Well. Basically, I mean, I, I assume that the it's pretty much I'm, my foot's on the pedal, so I'm just gonna, I guess, pretty much end up just dashing like through the cloud. Okay, so you're trying to pull the interceptor through the cloud? Uh, no, so I'm in the big rock. My foot was on the pedal when last so it was encased in there, so it's pedal to the metal, oh, and it's on. just... I'm out of control. You're gonna, you're gonna slam into the into the Tie I, Fighter. I have to I'm see out of pronounced hockey puck. Thanks for joining the channel. I am out of control. I can't man. I can't touch the controls inside the suit. <laughs> okay. Um. So make a strength check, and the interceptor is gonna contest it. Oh, good eighteen. Just strength. What a strong interceptor. <laughs> Okay, yep. cool. So it, it, it is uh, actually like... So again, you, you can choose... Your, you can either pull... So this is you as a player choosing, not like uh, to Craig's choosing. You can either pull it with you and uh, take more damage or rip free and take a lot more damage. All right, I'm going to leave it up to fate. I'm going to roll 1d2. Okay. If it's 1, then we go through the thing. If 2, oh, then right. it breaks free and whatever. 2. All right, breaks free. Yep. Okay, so this is going to hurt. <laughs> um, you take 29 damage. Oh, Thanks. Jesus. <laughs> All right. And then blast off through the ice field. Okay, <laughs> I, I roll this twice. So it's half of that is... 14? Yeah. Nice. Nice! nice. Just barely. <laughs> Alright. Um, I guess let's do... You're not really trying to pilot. You're just going right on through, right? It's not me trying to do anything. I'm right, just... right. But, like, you're not able to try to pilot. You're just going. No. Okay. I currently right. cannot access the controls to do anything. Luck check. Luck check. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's just roll a d20, Ryan. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Nope. Oh, but that's lucky number seven. <laughs> Uh, you take 12 more damage as the ice just comes crashing. It's the most lucky you. number in lizard culture. <laughs> uh. Got it. <laughs> Thank God. Well, actually, can I um, use cure wounds? Like, if, like, on the ship? 
Oh. Sure, sure, yeah, because you, this would have been your move. So yeah, go ahead. All right, right I'm gonna I'm gonna do it as a second level. Ooh. So let's do that. Nice. Hold on, there needs to be another D8. That's okay. Just roll another D8. Yeah. It's because it, it asked for. Oh, nice. That puts us up to 67, I think. Plus 17. What? 17 plus 35 is not 67, Drew. Oh, did we take more? I missed my mouse. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, That was the, there was also the um, going through ice damage. Right, 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 right. But we're back up. A bit of a mess. (laughs) Yep. Uh, But Agent the Lizard Wizard, you are now, uh, after that whole, like, bumpy ride... You've managed to hold your concentration, and it is your turn again. Good. Good. Alright, so, who's been hit here? So we got this guy, who we roughed up a little. Got uh, this guy. This guy is significantly more damaged than this guy. The one the one here? This guy is less damaged than oh, okay. this guy. That's okay. Um, I still want to take one of them out, so we're going to do that. Okay. Uh, I would I would like to cast a wizard spell, and by that I mean a weird cleric spell that is a wizard spell in this case. I'm gonna cast Priest of Liz Wiz's Guiding Bolt through the giant cannon. Okay. Um, and here's how this is gonna work: I roll one d20 plus spell because I don't think this is right. Nope, actually that is right. So it is 14 to hit. Okay. Um. So that would normally miss. Um, but it, uh, since it's pretty much being fired as a big beam, uh, it's going to, uh, have to make a deck save or take half. And it fails that, so it takes half the damage and still gets the secondary effect. Okay. Alright, so, um, because I am Wizardry Tier 6, um, for each tier I have in Wizardry, I can cast a spell as if it was a spell slot of one level, uh, one level higher. So it is a... Seventh level guiding bolt. That can't. That's absurd. <laughs> uh, people paid me a lot of money, so or, or rather, <laughs> donated a lot of money towards. Get Drew the tenth level. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you actually get to the point where you are casting a tenth level spell, I will do something special for that. Fine. One point. Up, one point away from the next wizardry tier, so it's only five dollars, Chad. Alright, so... 12th level um, spell is should be right reality, so... <laughs> Alright, so, it's gonna be 2d6 plus 1d6 for each spot level above first. Um, so it's 7th level, so that's an extra 6. So it's 8d6. 30 radiant damage. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so half that, because you, you oh, only half. got the 15, glancing 15 radiant damage, and... Uh, it's a guiding bolt, so the next attack against it has advantage, and because I'm wizardry tier five or higher, uh, the next attack also gets plus five to their next to their roll, and it extends the crit range by four. So a Thank natural sixteen or greater. Yeah. Thank you, chat. Donations <laughs> help the team. Um, all right, and then I would like to use my cunning action uh, to hide in the ship. Okay. In the ship? Right. Yeah. In the cockpit where they can't see me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to it doesn't give matter. you... doesn't matter. The way that's going to work is I'm going to say that you're, like, bundled up in something, so you have advantage on concentration checks. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Because you're, like, you're not actually being attacked, so... Got it. Okay. Bad guy turn. Oh, jeez. Um, I, I, I think that the lizard ship has efficiently pulled aggro from that TIE fighter. So it is no longer going after Bonesy. Oh, okay. Does a 15 hit you to to Crix? It does not. Okay. Um, This one's going to go over here. 15 also misses you. Yep. Uh, The Interceptor is going to start going over, but is not as fast as you. uh, And so is going to ready in action. And the pirate ship is going to go over here. And start charging an attack. I don't like that. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Is it the same attack? Hard to tell. Oh wait, hey Nick. Um, this Tie Fighter right here 
needs to make a save, and that one also probably did. Right, right. They all need to do it at the start of its turn. Has it entered the aura? Okay, hold on. Let me do the yeah. math. Um... Uh, on, I think. Oh, and so does the interceptor and the other guy. Yeah. All right. Well, no, it's also as they enter the range. Yeah, notably so... they'll only have to pull back a little if that happens because of the fact that they're, like, already using most of their movement to get to where they are. True, but they will be sickened. Yeah, okay. Um, so let's start with the Interceptor. Is sickened. Uh, I didn't maintain this concentration for nothing, second. Uh, TIE Fighter saves. TIE Fighter saves. Okay. Um, so the Interceptor and the big ship, I guess, are sickened? Yes. So the, Excellent. The Interceptor it... moves back one. Or the, the big ship moves back one, and then uh, give, give me the measurement to the interceptor. Uh, the big ship's got to move back a little further than that. Uh, and oh. then the, the other guy, the, 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 the interceptor has to move back one square. Yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, the, inter the pirate ship used most of its movement to get there. Got it. Yep, that, okay. that's it. Um, Bonesy, you're up. Alrighty. Um, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to try and hide in the cloud that I've made. Oh, okay. That's that's playing with fire. Uh, the cloud is not a cloud. I mean, it sort of is. It's a cloud of like ice, ice. and stuff. Um, and so uh, I'm gonna need you to make some sort of piloting check to not mess this up. So I'm gonna say a dex save. Oh, that yeah, that might have been a mistake. You should maybe you can charisma the cloud away. From <laughs> <laughs> I can I can I can talk with the ice. <laughs> Yeah, sweet talk that ice. I mean, if you want, you can just not go in the ice. Yeah, don't yeah, look at Yeah, probably a better idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I am going to just back off a little bit, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on my on my ship. Okay. Let's see, here we go. Are you casting it at first level or a higher level? Should should I cast it at a higher level, you think? That's a you choice. This is true. Uh, yeah, I might as well... Well, I'm, I'm pretty low, so I might as well cast it at, like, a second level. Okay. Sounds good to me. There we go. Okay, cool. So you heal for 15. Alright, oh, Ray! Help. Jeez, you're up. Mysterios. What am I shooting at right now? Uh, there's a <laughs> TIE Fighter here, which is your closest one. Oh. Uh, there's another one here, but you'd have to shoot through the ice field, which you probably... That doesn't matter, I can shoot it through the ice field if I really want to. Oh, right, because you can ignore cover. Yeah, cover doesn't matter <laughs> to me. I can shoot the big ship, too, if the, uh, yeah. see if it distracts it. Um, but... Wait, which one do I have advantage for hitting? Because of, uh, of... Oh, the Guiding Bolt. That one's this one. Guiding. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to shoot the Guiding Bolt guy. Okay. Yeah, you have advantage and a ton of buffs on that. Pew. And pew. Wow. wow. Okay. You, you Wait. somehow managed to miss that. Uh, Let's see what we can do. Because you had it. That was... With advantage, you rolled a 7. Oh. And then I rolled a 7 again. And then plus five from the guiding bolt is twelve. Wait, plus five with the guiding bolt is twelve. Yeah, I rolled seven twice. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. We'll impressive. See. Okay, anything else? Um, can try again. Oh yeah, I guess I can attack. That was that was one attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, attack again. And then. That's a crit. Uh, also okay. a crit. Cool. No, the second one's not, because it's a natural 12. Oh, wait, no, right, the first one was only a natural 11. Okay, so you hit it. Oh, I, that just hits? Well, you, you rolled a 17. That's just a normal hit, yeah. Okay. It, it's it, You have to roll a natural 16 or greater. Ah, uh, well, we didn't get the crit, unfortunately. Yeah. 16 lightning damage. Okay, cool. It is bloodied, I guess. To Crix, you're up. I fly north. Cool. At the start of my turn, my uh, 
suit again changes, this time into a bathing suit, spilling my soup all over the place. Okay, cool. Um, as what? the ship, I'm gonna have you make like a con save. So roll a con save, but it's like the ship doing it. Yeah, because wouldn't the wouldn't the soup damage the instruments? Oh yeah, you're Not fine. Anymore. You know what? The designers thought of this. There's a drain <laughs> below you. <laughs> Specifically for soup, not for any other form of liquid, though. Yep, totally not intended for other things. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to disable the soup dispenser. Um, and, like, I'm going to throw, like, do, like the, the space brake on, turn on, like, the retro rockets, and, like, pivot this thing, like, 90 degrees, come up here, pivot so I can aim at towards this ship. Okay. Yeah, get him. And then shoot my tracer at it, I guess. Cool. And which one are you shooting at? The top um, fighter you're right next to, or the... Okay, cool. That one. Uh, so just shoot that. Okay. Are uh, you advantage? Roll again. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Um, That's a crit. Normally it wouldn't do damage, but let's say it does damage, because you hit it critically. Okay. Um... So, let's say 2d6. It's freebie damage, so. Okay, uh, 2d6. Four. Yeah, you do four damage as one of the tracer rounds, like, puts a crack in its windshield. Alright. Alright. Is that it? Yes, that okay. is it. Agent, you're up. Alright, these guys are pissing me off. Let's do this. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and summon up a round. There it is. Of the spiritual weapons. Alright. Okay. So, I'm gonna summon two bags of socks in space. Um, if I remember correctly, this was the TIE Fighter we hit. Did anybody hit this TIE Fighter since? Well, this was the one that you hit. Oh, oh this was the one that we hit. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Alright, so, okay, I'll summon one I next to this it. TIE Fighter. You did attack it? Yeah. yeah. Did you get the plus five with the crit extension? Yep. I'd not get the crit. Okay, cool. But I mean, he he got the extension, but he didn't got it. trigger it. All right, I'll summon one spiritual weapon against this one. Okay. Right here. Uh, let's say, like, right there next to it. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'll summon another one uh, right next to us, because I want to get rid of this other guy. It's bloodied, so... Um, and that's what, uh, as a bonus action, they're both going to make attacks. Wait, all three? You you said three times, or did you just mean twice? No, just Okay. I don't think I get three of them. Yeah, if it's a, yeah I, I only create two. Oh, no, and for each tier above it, it is three. Wow. Awesome. You had a feeling. I, I vaguely remembered having the triple bag. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we'll do, uh, we'll do two at the one that's far away from us, actually. Okay. And, and one over here. Um, and then we'll do that. Cool. cool. Well, let's make some attacks. All right, so it'll be plus three, plus three, because I'm proficient. Let's just check this off the rails. <laughs> yeah, thank you, donations. <laughs> All right, so 16 on the one that's close to us. Okay. And then 13 and eight on the one that's farther from us. Okay, so those two mess. Roll the damage okay. for the one that's close to you. Okay, it's going to be 2d8 plus... Intelligence, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, also, you hit it anyway, but I guess have the one, make one more attack because you had advantage against that thing because the tracer rounds. Just to just to see if you crit. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Damn. Yeah. But it does uh, hit it, so. Okay. All right. Well, so it's nine damage. Okay. And then main action. Uh, I want to fire the cannon at the one near us, because if it's still alive, it should. I don't want it to be anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, you roll your damage, and it uh, it tries to evade. Okay, uh, how much damage is it? Oh, wait, no, so you make sorry, you make an attack against it, because uh, that, it, it starts as an attack, and then it's a column that makes everyone evade. Got it. All right, so we'll start with the shortbow attack. So it's uh, twenty-two. Cool. And I think I said it was 5D something. 
Yeah, I think so. 5d8. Yeah. Let me double check real quick. Yeah, we can scroll up and find out. Yeah. Uh, the last time I rolled big dice, it was... It was 8d6 for a different that thing. That was the guiding bolt. 5d8. Found it. Got it. Well, then, there's my roll. 31. Cool. All right. It explodes. <laughs> um... All right, Eli moved. Well done, Eli. You were totally going to be in the line of fire for that laser. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big, enormous laser beam a la Samus in Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Or pretty much any space game. <laughs> All right, bad guy turn. Um, first, the TIE Fighter is going to have to make a save. Uh, well, what's the DC for your beacon of note? Ah, DC should be my spell DC, so it's going to be uh, 8 plus proficiency plus spell, right? Uh, so that's going to be 14. Okay, cool. So the TIE Fighter succeeds. Okay. Um, pirate ship. Does not. Fails. Uh, interceptor fails. Okay, so the interceptor I think is out. The of interceptor range. is out of range, so yeah. it's safe for now. Well, I mean, Unless but like it, it also is out of range of attacking you, so it would step in, can't oh, get I you, see. step out, um, and then start flying over towards Bonesy. Mm -hmm. But that would be its. Uh, it would be taking the dash action. It can't actually get to you. Um, but then the Tie Fighter that is unaffected is going to take a, a shot at the lizard ship and miss terribly. <laughs> Um, Beacon and, of note. And then the pirate ship um, has to back off, I guess. Okay, cool. Yep, that's it. That's it? Yeah, I oh. mean, actually, you know, I guess it can still fire because it's, yeah, it's doing the charge up. Um, would it shoot at you? Yeah, I guess it would shoot at you. Okay, cool. Um, so the wheels along the side of it um, start just, like, shooting out pellets of lasers in every direction, uh -oh. and it starts spinning. Um, so, I'm gonna need, I guess, just to Crix to make a dex save, because everyone else is out of range. Alright, um, so just dex, do I don't, I don't get anything because I'm proficient in, oh, I don't need it. You're proficient in land vehicles. This is distinctly not a I'm land vehicle. Critting. Nope. I have uh, also space vehicles. Oh, okay. Never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you you crit, so you just like duck and weave through the bullets. Awesome. Bonesy. Nice job, expert pilot. You're up. All righty. Uh, now I am. I see that the interceptors trying to go after me, so I'm going to preempt this, and I'm going to try and throw one of my pie bombs at him to blind him, blind and or damage him. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what I would roll for that. So here's how this is going to happen real quick. Uh, so firstly, just make any make a spell attack, like if you have an attack spell, just do that, and we'll figure out the damage. Alrighty. Um, uh. But uh, secondly, um, we passed the uh, 15 minute mark left. So I'm going to uh, activate uh, the bonus round and everyone deals and takes double damage. I don't like this. Oh, I don't geez. like this. Uh, I don't, I thought I had a, I don't think I actually have an attack spell. <laughs> All right, just click, click your morning star. We'll just use that. He has a Action. great stat of nine. <laughs> Okay, you miss. Yeah. Well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> and I like that pie. Alright. Ray, you're up. I wanted to save my bonus action for, for my, my bonus uh, action search for tomorrow, but I'll use it now, because double damage. You can why always not? be given more. Um, where's my thing? Okay, I use, in order, action search. Uh, oh, hey, it's your theme song, yeah? Huh? It's okay. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, access to the fighting spirit, so all my attacks of advantage just turn, and I have four attacks. Okay. Um, do I go for the ship, or do I just spread my damage onto the baby ships? Hmm. Your call. Drew. What? 
What do I hit? Uh, blow a hole through that interceptor before it blows a hole through Bozy. Fine. Interceptors didn't get hurt a lot. Uh, attack one. That's not good. Wait, that's not right. It was this, but that doesn't matter. Okay, um, at the second one hits. Okay. Uh, second attack on the guy is that. 20. God damn it, I keep clicking the, the d20. That's fine. That's 25, you, whatever. You've you got a crit. Uh, so I should roll another d10 for that one. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Goodbye. God. So, wait, hold on. Because right now it's taken. It's uh, gone now. That that was over 100 damage between the two attacks. Jesus. It is gone. Okay, because I don't want to overkill too much. No. Uh, I'll attack this guy. For, I'll attack the big ship now. Okay. Uh, this is attack number... Wait, what attack am I on? This is attack number three? Yeah. Okay. Boop. And then... Boop. So, 22 to hit, 23 damage. And then attack four. Okay. Boop. Alright, so. that's another 50. Okay. Oh, cool. Um, the Brought big ship Aaliyah. is bloodied. <laughs> I like that, like, Ray's been, like, at the edge of this, and it's like, bonus round, okay, time to go! Bang, 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 bang. Okay, was that the end of your turn? That, uh, yeah, that's all my moves. That was two bonus actions and two, four attacks. Okay, to Crix, you're up. Oh, I also get five temporary hit points, again. Cool, there you go. Uh, so... Basically, I do a pretty sweet roll and flip and whatever to get pretty much just back here, but facing this guy. That sounds pretty sweet. Cool. And then I'll uh, just take uh, a tracer shot at him. Okay. And that is a crit. Okay, cool. Nice. So do an extra 2d6 damage. Which is then doubled. Yeah. Because it's the bonus round. B -b -b bonus round. Wow. Seven. It's fourteen. Nice. Oh, I thought it was double the dice. Oh, no, it's double the dice. Fuck it. So then, we so double eight. it again. Screw it. Screw it. Just take, he should be taking extra attacks, honestly. Like, probably. Yeah. Uh, Agent, you're up. All right. It's okay. It's your cricks. I got your back. I'm gonna move this bag. Uh, bonus action. I'm gonna move this bag twenty feet into into melee with the tie fighter. Yeah. Hello. I'm gonna move the other two into melee with the tie fighter. Okay. And we're going to make three attacks on that. And the first set has advantage, right? Yes. That's how the tracer works? Yeah, I mean, all of them have advantage. Anything that attacks something with a tracer round that comes from oh. the ship has advantage. Even better. Yeah. T-Crix, you've made an opening. We're going to put this We're gonna put this ship out of misery. All right, so it's plus three, plus three. Cool. So first attack, crit. That's crit. Uh, second attack... Five, third attack, 15. All right, the third one misses, but the first two okay. hit. All right, um, it's going to be 2d8 per hit, plus my... Biz mod? Or int mod, sorry. Okay, so um, just roll 68 plus double your int mod. Okay. Because one of those got doubled in the middle. Cool. So it takes 66 and is almost dead. <laughs> yeah, socks everywhere. Um, all right, so that was a bonus action. I can move them. Uh, and then... Kind of dangerous to leave these guys up, huh? All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate another wizardry point for... Trace to Lizwiz's Guiding Bolt. And I'm going to target the big ship. Okay. All right. Um, roll your damage. Come Do I have to attack on. it or no? I just rolled damage. You did. Right there. 24. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, so then we're going to roll. So it's, again, uh, this is an 8d6.
Kamehameha. So, 28. Okay. So, that's a 40, 56 damage. 56. Radiant. Yep. Cool. It is uh, hanging on, but just barely. The next attack has advantage, the plus five, the crit extension, all that jazz. Uh, and that's it for your boy. Cool. Something I just want to mention, uh, the last of Dan Street's suit changes is done. I am now in my old-timey price prospector getup again. <laughs> Perfect. All right. All right. Well, Let's get those beacon and up rolls. The TIE Fighter fails. Um, yeah. I, I think that Fire Chip succeeds. Is 16 enough? Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Okay, cool. This was 14, I think. Um, the TIE Fighter is just going to try and run um, with the pirate ship. Um, like... All the wheels start spinning like comedically forward. The the oars start going faster, and it's just <laughs> straight up charging the the lizard ship. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Um. So it's not gonna hit your AC. Um. So I need you to make a contested strength check. Oh. Okay. Strength. Oh god, it crit you. Uh. Okay, um, so it's going to like tip you over. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, uh, you're gonna take 22. Oh no. Okay. Um, and uh, Drew, I need you to make a concentration save. I will. Nick, I have a question. I have an answer. Um, so I have an ability that I forgot I had. Because we're level <laughs> 5 now. Story of my life. Uh, I have Uncanny Dodge. Um, that would be reaction. really helpful if you were in the pilot seat. Got it. For all concentration saves. Yeah, whoever is in the pilot determines your defenses. Ah, uh, the beacon is finally broken. There it is. The beacon is unlit! Bonesy, you're up. All right. Uh, pretty much everything's other... looking pretty fragile, so you might want to just try and take this one home. Yeah. So I'm gonna Bonesy. try and I'm gonna try and disengage. Wait, what did you say? Go get him, Bonesy. No, I, I went Nick. <laughs> I said they're looking pretty fragile, so you could probably get him. Okay. Uh, so I am gonna I'm gonna try and get close enough to the pirate ship to access its communication. Because huh. okay. I am I am going to once again contact contact the ship. And this sure. time I am going to use th thaumaturgy to attempt to intimidate them. <laughs> okay, so it boots up and you see uh just this like big burly multicolored frogman. Oh Hello, Dave. How are you today? Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know why a clown is in space? I use thaumaturgy, and all of a sudden my eyes turn to goat eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll intimidation. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna keep going. What was that? I said oh, roll intimidation. Okay, uh, and, uh, and he's right, to correct. Oh, you did it. Okay, you're good. Are you guys up or down? Because, like, if not, the clowns are probably be healing you. They're not down. They're just very low. Oh, that was bad. The frog doesn't even say anything and just pushes the close calm button. Oh. <laughs> All right, Ray, take us home. Oh, I'm going to hit the big ship. Okay. This ship has offended me the most. Uh, I guess I can use Fighting Spirit again, because whatever. Uh, so, advantage on all my attacks, all two of them this round. A hit, and a second attack. Uh, uh, twice. So, okay. I hit for 17. Man, these are really terrible rolls. Yeah, we're not doing too great. It is a splode. The, the big ship exploded? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, actually, it exploded after the first one. Oh, then the second one goes with whatever other enemy is there. Okay, cool. It also explodes. Nice. Bang, bang. <laughs> Congratulations, you got there. 
I wasn't kidding when I was saying they were really frail. <laughs> I mean, it's the, it's the TIE Fighter construction. Like, they're not designed to survive. Uh, they're, not, they're not designed to survive co uh, colliding with anything. Or, or they're, they're generally speaking durable, but they had, like, eight health left. <laughs> I'd start flying slowly towards the, the other two because I'm very far away. We wait the f hours it takes for you to get here. <laughs> <laughs> all right cool um so you all return to the mendacious and continue your trip with the next zone all right no word no words from the uh from hq sure we can do that hold on uh, i was just wondering because we're because we were on the ship i was just wondering if uh they're sending us next oh wait, i just started flying off into a random direction <laughs> oh, okay um so it's like Agents, return to base. We are going to continue our trip to, towards the coordinates that the Allfather gave us. If the, if these hold out, this might be a chance to really strike a blow against the Darkling army. I'm, what, uh, I'm gonna say I'll, I'll uh, meet up later. They just kind of gave me a spaceship, and I'm gonna use it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> zoo, zoo. All right. And I have uh, blood that turns to gold when I bleed. And a spaceship. <laughs> I'm doing really good. <laughs> He's out here living his best life. Can you tell on this, uh, on these coordinates, HQ? He goes, yes. We'll deal with that later. All right. It appears Almost to be like... a... It appears to be that the whole planet's a battlefield. Fascinating. We'll have to, we'll have to catch up more on that. It'll take about ten minutes. Yeah, next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> all right we're gonna take a quick break we'll be back in like 10 minutes i just need to get up and stretch my legs all right yeah. all right cool 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 hey chat you rock thank you for making this happen uh thanks a lot of good things today um all of our spells are super broken thanks to you <laughs> um but really but really that translates to a lot of money donated towards uh, the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Actually, um, time for a quick update in case uh, you guys are, in, are so you guys are in the know. Um, our team has currently raised sixteen hundred thirty-seven dollars uh, towards uh, for the Children's Miracle uh, for Extra Life, uh, oh and that's pretty darn phenomenal. Um, so really, thank you all. Um, those of you who donated, those of you who just came out to watch and have a good time with us, uh, oh, we really you. appreciate it. Um, so, Josh, are you sticking around? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be here until 1 in the morning. Cool, 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 cool. Um, well, I mean, you, are you sticking around over the break? Or you had, are you, oh, uh... oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, probably going to stick around. i got no, nothing else to do, really. All right, cool. Um, well, now's a perfect time to introduce yourself and your donation gimmicks. Well, uh, I am Bonesy the Clown. Uh, my donation gimmicks revolve entirely around balloons. <laughs> now... <laughs> What that means is basically, if you donate five dollars, or if your donation leads up to five dollars, uh, Bonesy will create a balloon animal that will be a familiar for himself. Now, as it starts out, the first familiar will will be pretty simple or basic, like a balloon worm or a balloon dog. But the more you donate, or the the more donations that I get, the more complex the balloon creatures will be. Like, it'll go from balloon worm to balloon dog to balloon Cerberus or something <laughs> or something else. It, it all depends on how much is donated and uh, what the donator would like to see as a balloon animal. Um, and not only that, but uh, af after a certain percentage of uh, donations... Ah, here we go. Uh, at $40 donations like anything that gets me up to forty dollars donations i can revive any fallen fallen comrade by means of channeling their spirit and putting them into a balloon version of themselves for the duration of the game provided they have died <laughs> that's pretty good yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna drop my donation link in chat so you can where is uh... marty how are you Ooh. all right so if those of you would like to see some balloon shenanigans and see how we all 
how you'll float too, uh, you can find my donation link there. Thank you uh, to Locus of Mana, who also posted it. I mean, ah, my bad. Um, yeah. You know, I, so yeah, this, that's yeah, so Josh posted the link to his own page. Um, I posted the team uh, the team page where you can find Josh's page and everyone else on this uh, on the squad. On yeah, the platoon. That's... that's pretty cool, dude. Well, thank you. I I hope that uh, it leads to some some fun stuff. Listen, your characters and gimmicks always give me the best laughs on the stream. So well, thank, you. thank you. I appreciate that. You're doing yeah, you're doing a great job. Bones, Bonesy the clown man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, he used to just be like Bones from Star Trek until until the meddling happened and he just became a clown. That's pretty good. So what, um, mechanically, like, what class are you playing? Like, uh, cleric. Oh, that's cool. Got a... Except I, I was not a smart man and didn't actually take any offensive. No, 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 no. You are doing perfectly fine. The offensive spells are not always the answer. It just so happened to be that we were in a space fight. Yeah. That's well, okay. You know what they say? Laughter's the best medicine. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, very cool. Thank you for sharing, dude. Oh, thank um, you for the opportunity. All right, let's see. Do we have uh, some new faces in the chat? It looks like we have Ilya. Hi. Hello. Hey, Ilya. Yeah. How's it going? I'm leaving. It's going now. along yourself. Bye, Eli. Thanks for the action surge. It was amazing. <laughs> did 200 damage in one turn. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good! Just obliterated somebody. Because Nick was, was like, the, the fight is going too long. I'm going to make everyone do double damage. I said, okay, I guess Turn I'll leave this dust. now. Time to pull out all the stops. <laughs> Perfect. One second. All right. We got a... Uh... Brian, you still hanging out? Nah, okay, he'll be back in a minute. Um, how are you guys doing, chat? Everybody all right? How'd you spend your Saturday? Well, besides watching us, of course. <laughs> okay, they're going far for now. That's okay. Uh, that's all right. Well, either way, um, chat, if you have any questions, let us know. We're happy to answer. And uh, thank you again for staying tuned. Uh, we're going to get started fairly shortly. In about four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can I can boost some other some other folks uh, if Ilya's not back. Uh, I'll, I'll I'm here. Oh, perfect, Ilya. Um, you'll, you'll in, you're gonna introduce yourself to the chat soon as soon as the stream starts. But um, I figure maybe we could talk about a few of your perks because I think they're the off stream or like the like the or like the non you know stream perks uh, that I think are interesting. Uh, if you want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so. Um... I am actually offering to draw for people uh, for in it, for the donation part. Um, I had very few ideas for in-stream perks, and I panicked. <laughs> so um, I can do uh, headshots of characters for one or two dollars, uh, half-body images of characters for ten to fifteen dollars, and full bodies for twenty to twenty-five. If, if you really want to go wild. I do have an option where I will draw your entire D and D party uh, in color, um, if, you, if you really want to go for that. Um, but you can pop on over to my donation page and uh, check that out. Um, and my in-stream perks I will introduce when uh, we come back on, because that has to do pretty severely with the character I've built, and I want that to be a little bit of a surprise. Very cool. Very cool. You heard it here first, folks. Chat. If you want cool art of your awesome characters or any kind, you know, any um, what uh, you know, whatever, whatever uh, fantasy characters, whether it's on stream, out of stream, in your D and D game, uh, and you want them drawn, uh, Ilya's work is phenomenal. If uh, they're so if they're in your heart and you just got to get them out, th she's there for you. And remember, it's all going towards a good cause. Think of it, think of, think of it like the art's free, because you know you're you're putting your money towards a great cause. It's your your art. Your commissions are now tax deductible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. All right, and there's uh, Ilya's uh, good. Uh, Ilya, there's Ilya's uh, page. Go ahead and check it out. Um, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Rockalai's pretty hype. I'm gonna dip. 
Bye, Eli. Bye. See you Bye. in two years. Stay, bud. Yeah. 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 I'll be back for the holidays. Will he, though? Or will he? <laughs> yeah, very cool, very cool, very cool. Welcome to the stream, Elia. This is your first, uh, first Goon Platoon, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've been, uh, watching for a couple of years because you've been playing, but, uh, that sounded really creepy. For the people who don't know, I'm Drew's girlfriend. That sounded so <laughs> creepy. I've been watching you for the past seven years. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, yeah, it could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been. Hi, I'm your stalker, Drew. Nice to meet you. Okay, Andrew's in the chat with us. I know Andrew. Yellow. I just like talking to people. I just like talking to people in third person by their stream names. Hello, <laughs> Andrew. What up, Andrew? Our friend Andrew's in the chat. He's a really cool dude. Well, I think I, I think I mentioned before. Uh, he is the he's he's the yeah he's the paladin of my D &D, of my D and D table. The, the goodest of the boy. Good. Yeah. Yeah! Hanzo reacts. Very good. Hanzo. Ah! Lucky G. Alrighty. Fearless Leader has returned. Yes. We're back a little early. Yeah, it's cool. We uh, we just did a, a a quick quick little rundown of Josh's character and his gimmick, and we did Ilya's uh, art gimmick, but not her full character yet. Ilya, yeah. I love the background you've got going on. I'm sure it's just like a room, but it looks like a professional streaming setup. <laughs> well, it, it looks like a it looks like an art loft. Uh, it's my uh my corner for all of my art <laughs> stuff. So yeah, it's a good corner. Yeah. Big fan. <laughs> All right, so we are ready whenever Ryan returns. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Oh. Now, now I fixed my character icon. That looks wonderful. Perfect. It's a nightmare. I love it. I hate it. Yes, that totally is the clown it. fish from SpongeBob. I love it. Literally, that was what I imagined when I when I thought Bonesy the clown. Tip you, you stay. They yanked him. <laughs> I was so happy I was able to get such a high quality image of that clown. <laughs> Probably a good time for me to do another blast on Facebook. Oh, that's a smart idea, but first I'm gonna draw Bonesy the Clown with goat eyes. I like how that had that it had no effect at all. <laughs> it was very inspiring.
rest here, but we're not leveling up or anything. Yep, you yeah, get a long go. rest, so you're, yeah, you should yeah. be good to kill up. 